IT6600 series power supply adopts a new touchscreen design. Intuitive GUI allows you to quickly and easily set parameters and edit waveforms. A 3U height single unit can output 21 kilowatts each in dual channels. If the two independent channels are connected in series or parallel, it can reach maximum power 42 kilowatts. IT6600 series includes IT6600C bidirectional DC power supply and IT6600D DC power supply. This is an IT6600C series bidirectional DC power supply. It can not only output power as a DC power supply, but also act as a DC electronic load, absorbing power and feedback power to the grid to realize energy recycling. Let me show you the power on, off and the USB on the front panel, easy for data import and export. Here is the key print for convenient screenshot. Key view is for returning to the measurement interface. Press menu to quickly enter the menu. This is the five inch LCD touch screen. Function keys, number keys, direction keys and enter key. Traceable knob and heat dissipation holes. Next, let's check the key functions of IT6600C product. Press Menu. You can see that IT6600C has the functions of solar array simulation, battery charge and discharge test, battery simulation, and standard automotive electronic waveform simulation which can cover various tests of low voltage and high voltage components in the automotive industry. It has built-in regulations of IEC 61000-4-17 and 61000-4-29. It is particularly convenient for testing systems and equipment that rely on DC power supply. List function. It can simulate DC output and full protection settings in various test scenarios. Here is the redundancy function and power statistics function. Next you'll see the dual channel output configuration of IT6600C. Press Shift plus P set to enter the menu and click. You can set two channels, whether they are in series, parallel, or dual channel output. Dual channel output now is selected, confirm. After that, you can set the parameters of the two channels. When synchronicity between channels is turned on, you can set what synchronization you need. For example, synchronize on, off, or set tracking status, or all follow status. Now two channels are set up. Sync on, off is turned on. Under the general menu, there are several languages selectable. But default one is English. Enter the COM menu, you can set the communication interface, such as USB, LAN, or others. Then set the IO interface. Finally, you can see the information of this unit through the Information menu. Under the Config menu, you can set the loop priority. You can choose whether to give priority to the CV loop or the CC loop. Selecting Done, you can set the speed of the loop, high speed, medium speed or low speed. At the same time, the slope can be set. There are two ways to set the slope, one is using time as the slope, and the other is the standard slope method. Choose time as the slope. That is to directly set the voltage rise time and fall time, the unit is milliseconds. If you choose the standard slope mode, you can directly set the rise and fall times of the voltage in milliseconds per volt. Output coupling method. The default setting is DC coupling without AC superposition. CC loop priority is selected. You can turn on the only load function and it will work in load mode. 
In this mode, the current slope can be set. When it works in load mode, loading test can be performed in CC, CR, and CW modes. Now I'm going to introduce the solar array simulation function of IT6600C. Press the menu key and select the SAS menu. Here you can edit curves. For example, you can choose custom mode or curve mode. Currently, the custom simulation is selected to set the open circuit voltage, maximum power point voltage, short circuit current and maximum power point current. When selecting curve mode, you can select regulations and solar cell materials, as well as the settings of the maximum power point voltage and the maximum power point power, select Save. If configuration is required, click Configure key and select Download after the configuration is completed. After the download is completed, you can run it then. This is a simple and typical demonstration of SAS function. Now we'll check the battery charging and discharging functions. Press the menu key, select the battery test function, and select the test channel 1. Currently it is channel 1, and then choose whether to charge or discharge the battery. Currently, charge is selected to charge the battery. In the charging state, the charging voltage and current. Cutoff time, voltage, current, capacity and energy can be set. Now let me introduce the battery simulation function of IT6600C. Press the menu key to enter the battery simulation menu. Here you can set the battery curve. There are two implementation methods, one is custom method and the other is curve method. The custom method is currently selected. In custom mode, you can set the capacity, full voltage and empty voltage of a battery. Then you can set the battery pack, such as the number of battery packs connected in series, the number of parallel connections, the impedance, as well as the corresponding protection functions and operation-related parameters. After the settings are completed, click Save. And you can name the file. After the configuration is finished, click Run to simulate the required battery model. Finally, I will introduce to you the regulations of automotive electronics that are built in IT6600C. Enter the menu. Click the automotive electronics interface and first select the channel. IT6600C has nine built-in automotive electronic regulation curves. In addition to D40839, ISO 16750-2, LV123, LV124, IT6600C also has built-in ISO 21498-2 regulations. We can view and select the test items under the regulation. Now E06 is currently selected. Different ranges can be selected under the test item. Adjust voltage test ranges. It also supports custom curves. You can program with the voltage and time. And then, just click Run. Hi, Tech, your power testing solution.